Oh, we've arrived at the number eight. Here we are, number eight. Number eight's lovely. Um, in the major cards, it's the card of strength. And of course, um, the lady in this card is taming the lion high. Um, above her hair is a figure eight, the lemoniscus, symbol of an infinity. Energy limitlessly flowing. Some of the minor cards are a little bit more challenging than that, but always hang on to the message that we do have the strength to deal with what the universe is sending us. Eight of Swords. Challenging card to read. She's wearing a blindfold. That's a little bit difficult, isn't it? Because your querent has come to you, a tarot reader, and is looking for a reading in order to shed a little light on her or his life. So saying, well, there is a way out of the situation, you just can't see it, isn't necessarily that helpful. So we do hope that there will be more information in the other cards in, in the reading. Um, if you, we've all been in this situation, but if you look at her, there, there she is. Um, <laughs> She thinks she's bound, but if she just she she could get out of those bonds, they're not chains. She could get out of that cage. If you look around your friendship group, you're real, you'll probably know people like this. They feel they are caged um, in perhaps a, a difficult relationship, a dead end job. They don't like where they're living. And he, probably you and lots of other people in your friendship group can see how they could get out of this. They are the only people who can't see it. Yeah? It's, come on, it's time to tap into that strength. Um, time to find that inner core that you know you have. Time to move, move on, try to move forward. Perhaps it's time to do, do some additional training in, in order to advance your working life to find a better job. Perhaps it's time to take a pair of scissors to your credit card. Yeah, come on, it's time to get going. Time to break the deadlock is the phrase that came to mind there. Time to get out, time to get moving. Um. I only hope that you, you will have something like um, a, a Ace of Wands there um, in, in the spread as well to say, yeah, you know, the right job is out there for you. We hope. Eight of Cups. If you were going to divide eight into two groups, you would probably have two groups of four rather than a five and a three. The, the moon in the background, that's the medieval way of representing the moon, trying to represent all four moon phases at once. Again, like the Eight of Swords, the, the moon often, well, the moon casts more shadows than she gives light. So it is about not being able to see things clearly, and he is turning away and headed off into the mountains. He's turning away from safety and security. This doesn't mean he's on an outward bound course. It, it does, you know, the mountains ma the do represent danger in that sense, and he's turning away from safety, comfort, and support. He's turning away from people who could be supportive to him. Makes sense. Yeah. Maybe be a little bit careful about how you about how you express that. There are more people in your life who can be supportive to you than perhaps you are immediately aware of. Yeah. And yet he's holding um a walking stave and he's striding off purposefully. Possibly in the wrong direction, but he is striding off purposefully. 
basic challenges, meeting challenges. Perhaps this is a person who just prefers to um, head off on their own. Eight of Wands. This is kind of one of those cards that's a bit like the Hanged Man. Some situations are just up in the air and there is nothing that you can do. You know, it's a bit like sitting at red traffic lights. Put the handbrake on, there's no point inching forward. It's not going to make the lights change any more quickly. Um, there's some things you just have to wait for. My house is up for sale, it's been up for sale for months. If you're coming to view it this weekend, do you think they'll put in an offer? Um, really, really hope that you have something like the chariot um, in, in the future there. But perhaps this is the central issue in your current life, that everything is up in the air, uh, everything is stuck. They're in a situation where they can only wait. <laughs> Maybe if your house is up for sale and it's not selling, maybe this isn't the right time for you to move. But what we hope is that there will be signs of moving on, moving forward in the, in the future bit of a reading. Because this isn't a situation that anybody really wishes to be in for long. But sometimes you just have to accept the fact that there is nothing that you need to be doing. This, on the other hand, is the Eight of Wands. It's the opposite of the Three of Coins. We remember the Three of Coins. We remember somebody who earns a living by doing something that they're passionate about, something that they really enjoy doing. This is toil. This is just, I go into work, I put the cherry on the cake, Maybe for eight hours, I go home, money appears in the bank, I get nothing else. Yeah, it is just about toil, just about working, simply to make money. So perhaps it's there in a reading that says, come on, time to think about your life path, time to think about your direction, time to think about maybe... Um, training, expanding your skill set and you keep coming back to the phrase moving forward. We get this a lot in tarot because life's the journey um, and you know we, we hope that we are moving and learning and growing and developing. We hope that we're not stuck in a cage that we made ourselves and we can't see the way out of hope that we're not stuck in a dead end job that we really don't want to be doing. We hope. The whole point of tarot is to cast light and help someone to see where the life is, um, where the blocks are, and how they can rise to the challenges. Stay with me, we have numbers 9 and 10 to go.